Welcome back to life in the SHL. Today we just had some practice. Uh, games are obviously delayed from or postponed from this week. And Whitney's making her appearance on the vlog once again. Um, my mom is in town, so she's watching Fox, and we came skiing. It's been like 15 years for me since I've skied. Whitney, you? 10 years? Mm, yeah, about 10 years. So we'll see how this is gonna go. I'm scared. This place looks good though. So this is what skiing in Sweden is like then. How is it? You think we're gonna make it down? This was a far way up. There's like five minutes to get up.
Practice week's now done. Um, definitely felt a lot better than uh, the first couple days coming off that COVID break that we had. Almost even feeling better than before. So setting up for uh, setting up for a good uh, second half of the season, and then obviously playoffs. Trying to make a push here to climb up the standings. But um, yeah, like I said, practice week's over. It is Friday. Tomorrow's off. Just heading home from the rink and gonna just hang out with the girls. They're leaving next Sunday, so uh, time is time is pretty limited right now. Again, so uh, just gonna go home. Hopefully, relax today. Just hang out, recharge, and tomorrow, obviously, big day for recovery. And then it's uh, games back on next week. We're starting Tuesday in Malmo. Hopefully, you make me lunch. Mm. Yeah, what do I got? Mm. Candy for lunch. Yeah. Nice. These lollipops for me? Yeah. How'd they taste? Okay. Are they super nummy? Um, taste bad to be. Try it. Try it. Nummy. Yeah, it's super good. It's space. Nice. Fox, is daddy doing a good job? Probably not. Fox, look at what mommy made for lunch. Does it look yummy? Cauliflower tacos? What are you doing? I'm brushing hair. Brushing Peppa's hair? I want to thank you guys for watching if you made it this far of the video. Um, I'll definitely try to do more of the practice footage stuff. I think I really enjoy watching that back and I know you guys, or hopefully you guys, enjoy seeing a little bit more on the ice action. So try to do as much as that as possible. I know it's going to be pretty busy with the games and all the game highlights and then analytics with the on the videos after uh, after this week. but. I'll definitely do as much as possible of the training stuff. But I wanted to wrap this episode up with uh, another Q&A. So I got two questions here. Uh, first one is from Sean Kelly. Uh, Two-parter, actually. Any equipment size restrictions in Europe? So we do have some measuring. I think I had it in one of the first couple videos on this series. Uh, but the guys came to the rink. They have like a different kind of forks and stuff they kind of ran through the pads and measured the gloves and uh, some some chest protector stuff i think in the jersey so they do that kind of measurements but they only did it once and for one set of gear so uh, i know some guys have have huge chest protectors in this league and i know it's probably the way they dress it up as well and how it's pushed up but 
Um, yeah, they, they do measure it at the start of the season, I think, sometimes during the season. I, I've only seen it happen once, so... Um, Nothing like the NHL where all the gear goes to somewhere and gets approved. So, um, yeah, there, there are some restrictions. And I think the Jess protector and pants are a little bigger in Europe than, than in North America. But that's, that's about it for the measurements. And the second part of the question was any rules that were hard to adjust to in Sweden that don't necessarily apply in NA? Um, I think the big thing for me has been... <laughs> Uh, coaches challenge and not really knowing what goalie interference is can't really find the rule book here but um, yeah I think that's that's been the only thing like just being frustrated a couple times when I feel like um, in North America it, it would have been goalie interference and and stuff like that and then then we can't challenge it so uh, other than that pretty same pretty much the same rules and um, so I just wish maybe for next season they add Add coaches challenge and all that goal interference stuff would be consistent from from now on. Second question is from Andre, and do you understand basic Swedish? And um, what are you doing, Fox? <laughs> I I do understand basic Swedish. I sometimes know and understand what the guys are talking about. I uh, kind of pick up on some of that stuff. So when they're talking and I have a question about what they're talking about, I just end ask it in English when they're speaking speaking Swedish. So I understand a little bit some words here and there. Uh, can't really speak Swedish, uh, just very basic stuff. And sometimes I get confident and get to the grocery store and try to do the whole thing in Swedish and uh, then they, I think they ask if I'm a member at that grocery store and then I just, I lose it in panic and just <laughs> say English, please. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Swedish is definitely a work in progress. I had to take it in school, so that's why I know at least a little bit, but I was always more interested in English in school. So, um, didn't really want to learn Swedish. So that's not my strong, strong suit. But we are back to playing a lot of hockey next week. I think we have three games on the schedule. So it's going to be fun to get on a roll here. Rhythm, normal schedule. So play a lot of hockey here in the second half. So uh, very excited about that. And as usual, big thanks to all the channel members. Going to do some live feeds, Q&A live feeds here soon. Make sure to check out all the links in the description. Get some great deals over there. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the series, make sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, and once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.